discussing about um, relationship and marriage. So if you're coming across this channel for the first time, please click on the like button, share and subscribe. And do not forget to turn on your notification button. So you could be notified each time I drop a new video. So let's get talking. When we talk about relationship and marriage, what comes to your mind first? Like, what is your own opinion on a relationship and marriage? Okay, so when we talk about relationship, I believe um, when uh, you find someone special, someone that you feel uh, you're connecting with, so I believe that uh, uh, when you see someone that you're connecting with, your vibe and everything, you start a relationship, you, um, you start cutting. So, and getting into marriage, you make it official. Like, yes, I want to be with this person for the rest of my life. So I believe that is marriage and, and relationship and marriage. Cutting and then leading to marriage, you need for the rest of But it's... It makes sense when you have someone that is like the right person. In a relationship, it should not be just your partner. It should be uh, not just your partner, but your best friend, your partner, in crime, your family. So that's the relationship for me. But if it's just you, who, uh, uh, for like, it's just you're, you're giving it all and your partner is not giving you the same or even uh, a little bit less of that. It's not a relationship. That's what it is. I have a series of questions to ask my guest. Um, so, um, what will it, what will it cost, or what will it cost you to end a relationship? Will you be able to forgive and forget, renew the relationship, or? Okay, um, um, your question is like four questions in one. What yeah. will it cost you to end a relationship? There are yeah. too many things that can cost you. Number one, dishonesty. Number two, cheating. There are too many, but the, the those are the like those are, those are like the hierarchy: cheating, dishonesty, and probably. Infidelity, right? Those are the yeah. things that cause any relationship, not just, not like a, not any relationship, to come to an end. She also asks if you can forgive and forget. Yes, you can forgive, but you cannot forget. Yeah. Those things stay with you forever. You may have forgiven him now or her now. Something may happen in the future, and then that thing is still in your, that, the back of your mind, even though you may not be cheating or you may not be dishonest. But you remember that oh, we did it once time, so you can do it again. So. You can never forgive and forget. That's so, so, so basically, if you said you you can forgive but you cannot forget, then there's that like ninety percent. You 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 will I say you 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 did not really forgive because what I believe if you forgive you forget. So if you if you if you say or if you continue to be looking at it that way, you can't forget each time you see him like that wound is there still fresh so that to me my own opinion i feel like um you still have grudges in mind yeah, you that's still true. have grudges that's true, to, that's true to a certain, a certain degree but everyone cannot like because you didn't forget what someone did does not mean you not forgive yeah. just like for example when your friend does something to you you forgive but you do not forget that thing. No, but you just, but you like, just, but you just mentioned, um, you, you can, for, you will forgive, but you cannot, but forget. You cannot forget. Yeah. Can In I your say own this? opinion, but, you can I say that? Not, that means you didn't forget. Can I say? Yeah. This? When you, I believe that when someone do something bad, like, for example, che uh, cheating in a, in a relationship, relationship, you should. Maybe you can't for it depends on you, but if you want to forgive the person, I believe you shouldn't forget so that you can learn, it, learn a lesson from it. Because when you for, forget the, the thing, I don't think you can uh, you can learn a lesson from it. You have to know how to approach the problem, you have to know what you, you what you would do to like for you and your partner to work things together. But if you forgive and forget, you are not learning any lesson, like it will just keep on repeating itself. So you have to forgive, but don't forget. 
so that in future you can know how what is your mistake, what 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 exactly you did wrong, and how you can learn from it. So don't don't forget. That is my opinion. Well, uh, I agree yeah. with you that you can forgive. But you cannot forget yeah. because the person who made the mistake made made you doubt on exactly. what his intention. Yeah. So, for example, okay, in that cheating, uh, if your partner say, says, "Not uh, okay," you discovered it now, and then something, and then few, maybe few days after few days, you guys are okay. The relationship was okay. You forgave your partner, and then you may you uh your partner make. Uh, you're like you have doubts every time it's like going out you don't even know if it's with friends because your partner is not giving you the assurance that I'm not doing it with him. I'm exactly. not gonna do it with him. exactly yeah. so. well forgive and forget I agree with her with the forgive and forget I just don't agree with the doubts because I think relationship what people mostly I mean in this society people think relationship is just love but they forget that relationship is about trust. Yeah. The yeah. reason why you go into a relationship is yeah. to trust the person with your whole personality, mm -hmm. with the whole you. So when start, uh, when doubts start to come in, in this relationship, then what's what are you there for? You gotta trust, right? Yeah. When a person cheated on you, does it make him a bad person? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes we don't. The person who did bad to you doesn't mean he's a bad one. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what am I lacking on? Exactly. What did I do right? Mm -hmm. Right? So the relationship for me comes in two ways. Always. It doesn't mean that the person cheated the person did bad to you. He's the devil. At the end of the day it's still you. You yeah. know, like yeah. There's another to end the relationship. Mm. You guys forgot about I'm that. gonna say it now. It depends. Abuse. If you, you're yeah. feeling that you're you're getting abused yeah, yeah, by your yeah, partner, exactly. right. not only physically but emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a word that I learned just in my just last I think last year. Gaslighting. Mm -hmm. Gaslighting is a psychological abuse mm -hmm. that making you, uh, your partner is questioning your sanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. So if you feel like you're mentally abused, because uh, if you don't if you don't do uh, something about it. If you're mentally abused or anything, it will escalate yeah. to physical abuse. Okay. Because at first, I said before, uh, they, before they do the physical abuse, they will uh, they will say a lot of bad things about you, mm -hmm. insult you in a lot of ways, and then if you try to fight with, if you try to argue with that person, it will end up. Uh, Physical. 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 Yeah. If you find out a day before your marriage that your fiance have, have a kid, will you proceed with that marriage or you rather sort things out like will you want to sort the thing out or will you proceed like you both are getting married right the next day tomorrow is your wedding and then you find out this night that he have a kid and he has been hiding so what do you think will you guys continue you have been like we all we, all, we just said it now like trust is something that you cannot just get it like that you have to earn it like you have to just work for it so you telling a day before our marriage We've had we've passed through a lot of things oh, together yeah. before we get to that stage. So you telling me that you have a kid, that means you have other things that you're not telling me. And you I no matter how maybe that is maybe you only have a kid. But I believe that if you have a kid and you're not telling me, that means you have other things you're not telling me. I don't want to care what means it might be. Or maybe you don't even have maybe it's just only the child. So if it, if you're telling me just, I mean, I found out, maybe I didn't even, he didn't even tell me, I didn't find out on my own. I think you have a lot of things that you're hiding in your wardrobe. So you have a lot of skeleton in your wardrobe. So I don't think it will work. It's not something that you must the trust. And you are going into marriage, it's forever, for life. I cannot, for me, I, I don't think I can. It's a so, trust that you lost. Basically, you are cutting the wedding off. 
I think so. I think I will because I cannot I, I cannot trust someone that held like you are holding back a, a whole human being. You didn't tell me about it. And I found out like a day to our marriage. Mm -hmm. Stop it. We're not doing it anymore. <laughs> it's the truth. Does? Well I don't think I would be honest. Mm -hmm. Talk about trust, it's fine, you know, you didn't tell me or maybe like as she said, I found out the day before the wedding, it's fine. I mean, the kid doesn't even have to do anything with it. Yeah. It's not his choice for him to be, for him or her to be hidden. Yeah. You know, it's the dad's choice. So, I mean, for me, it's fine, we can sort it out later. The reason why I'm marrying you is because I, said, I accepted you for who you are. It's not that... I marry you because I don't know you. He came out from somewhere. So, that so, I'm just marry you. No. So what if you marry him and then along the line he started bringing out some kids again? Like probably maybe you stay like for for six months and then you bring another kid or probably another woman will come. This is your kid. I mean, with kids, I have thing with kids. Probably. I mean, personally. So I don't take grudges when it comes to children. Wait, uh, sorry, I, I, let's not take it to a different topic. Yeah. I don't have it. Uh, no, I'm not saying you I'm not saying, saying you're no, 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 you like putting it on me or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying like, I, nobody should have a, a bad thing for a child yeah, or yeah. something. But this is between me and the dad. Yes. So it's like you're like holding it back for me. Like, yeah. You think, maybe I'm not even, maybe I'm like the fruit in your life, like maybe you have so many people that you promised marriage and then you have it. I don't have, I actually love you. Yeah, I told me earlier, I love you. It's your child. You don't want to use children. I will love you with all of them. But yeah. you hiding it from me. It's something that. The thing is, you won't say that it's between you and him anymore because there's a kid involved. So whether you like it or not, you have to consider. I cannot just right? accept. I cannot just accept the child. Is it, is, yeah. is it that you are trying to say you won't accept the child? Like No, I can accept yeah. the child before the marriage. Like you told me okay. earlier yeah, in our relationship that, oh yes, I have a kid. I'm okay with it. I don't have a bad thing. I have, I love children. But you, like, you're hiding it. Like you didn't tell me. And we are going to the altar. It's for better, for worse. Like, it's forever. So that means you have a lot of things you're hiding. For me, mm -hmm. I don't, in a relationship, don't lie. Maybe you can, maybe there's something that I don't let you to say, like just to avoid problems. But I did, like you having a son or a, a daughter, like mm -hmm. a child, it's something big. It's you, not the child. Well, it came from you. There are lies that are not necessary to tell you, right? So mm -hmm. yeah. have you ever, no, I'm not directing it to you, but. Yeah. Have you ever considered why he hid it from you? That's why I said we can sort it out later. Because we need to talk about it. Why? Why did I find out just now? Yeah, of course. We, we might probably but talk it doesn't about mean it. that you have to cut the marriage. Uh, no, I'm not going to the altar like that. I can't go to the <laughs> That's what you said a while back. You're going to cut the marriage, right? Yeah, I'm going to like, yeah, 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 I'm going to like, I'm not going to, I'm not going for that marriage. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I respect it. <laughs> I agree with Joyce. For me, it's even. If, if you had the child while we're in the relationship. Uh, no. But if you had the child before, before our relationship. relationship. Okay, that's okay, fine. Okay, yeah. I yeah, can yeah. accept it. That's why me personally, I have a kid. Yeah. I will tell you uh, the first day we will meet. Oh, yeah. I have a child. Mm -hmm. So you have to... Uh, you have to ask for her permission first before. Because I want you to love my kid before. Yeah. So that's it. So, but there's not more. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we said, do you have anything to say? Uh, I, I agree with Bobo, but I do not agree with him. <laughs> uh, Joyce said, um, it's no longer about you and your partner, it's, it's about the child. Mm -hmm. But behind your child, there are, some, there are people else. There's the baby mama, the grandparents, the uncles, the auntie. If those things were sorted out prior, like during the relationship, it's easy. You okay, okay, this is my 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 stepdaughter, stepson's mother, this is their family. You already have that relationship, but when you enter into it, like it just came out, like there's bound to be problem after the marriage. Yeah. 
there is bound to be a problem after the marriage because you haven't had that relationship with this child. This child doesn't understand. His mindset will be like, oh, you are the reason why my father did not marry my mother. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a, a age long scar on the child's answer. Who has no idea that probably his dad or his mom is at fault and you are the innocent one in the picture? So for me, I will not marry you. To me, a broken engagement is better than a broken, broken marriage. marriage. It's a very, it's a holy institution that should be, when we enter, we should enter with so much trust, sanctity, and everything. So me, I would not marry you, bro. You can keep the, the ring. Um, so tell about the most um, difficult challenge you face in a relationship. Were you able to overcome and how did you learn? Eden? Difficult I don't have difficult time to do for me because I'm someone that I'm very carefree and I like I like me like I like myself because like they say you can everything you do you put yourself first. I put me first so because they say if you don't have love for yourself you can't love another so yeah. if, you, if you try to take away my own personal love and sanity bro please go away because personally my relationship do not last was the longest I've been in a one month. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not joking. Because when you, when you begin to try to take my space, where are you? What are you doing? Where have you been? Begin to become the Lord over my life, bro. I will let you go. Come on. It's like, I will, like I always tell them, you are not my ticket to so many things. I have yeah. groomed. My parents have groomed me to be a man of my own face. Yeah. So that no man can. So difficulties, when it already comes, I try to... Um, Tell you okay, this is my this is my and you'll be like okay no you still you want to use that um i am the head of the house mm -hmm. i am the man i will I, i'm not ready to go into that difficulty i'll just let you go because me i like me first i love me yeah well i would say that you want to say something okay so i would say that um bringing yourself first mm -hmm. like she said like you know when you start supporting someone like when you start a relationship with someone it's not just about you anymore. It's like you have someone else that like you have to include in your plan. So that is that might kind of be like a challenge. Like you know, you have to something you're not used to. And another thing is you know living together. You are used to oh I like my space. I'm, I always say this. I am a very private person. Like I really love my space a lot. So me sharing uh, my space with someone like ah. God, I don't like my things to be placed like this. I don't like this. This is like this. this the, the, it's a lot. Like it's it's kind of uh, it's so difficult to adjust sometimes. So, but it's not really a big challenge. But I'm just saying that this is just one of the things. Like when you start a relationship, putting um, you have to get along. Like plan together with the person, <coughs> not just. Well, for me, the long the longest. The, 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 uh, in this type of period, the, the, the most difficult is when you're teaching your partner what's fair, what is fair. You don't, if your partner don't even know what's your importance, yeah. just because, uh, just because he's uh, too, what they call this, uh, he's too comfortable. That you were there. Always yeah, you're there. always there. Yeah. You're always accessible. Mm. That's a very difficult one. Mm. It's a long period, not not just uh in a day problem, but in a long run of your relationship. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the most difficult challenge. Uh -huh. My longest relationship was actually four years. Oh. That was my first and serious relationship. Name it uh, emotional abuse. Um, well, I, we didn't get get into physical abuse, but emotional abuse. Name it infidelity, cheating, lying. Honestly, I had it, and it was hard. Actually, it's a cycle. It's very hard to get out of an emotional abuse kind of relationship. It's very hard because it's a cycle. I overcame it just by myself because they said you're your own wall, right? Yeah. You, no one have no one got your back but you. So I overcame. I learned a lot. And even if when I go back, I think I'll probably still be in that relationship because I learned a lot. I will not be who am I today after yeah. the heartbreaks that I had. So yeah. 
also what I said pala applies to you. <laughs> because uh, everything, you experience everything. No, you still get it. Yeah. yeah. And days. I don't believe on teaching your partner the bare minimum. Because yeah. that's manipulation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't teach a partner how to be how to take care of you. If you yeah. wanted to, he will do it. Yeah, you don't true. have to teach a partner how to do that. So according to old um, old generation, sex before marriage is prohibited. But in this new generation, sex before marriage is acknowledged um, is acknowledged by the society to be right. What can you like? What can you say about this? Well, I mean, if we, I just think that. The reason why it's prohibit, prohibited before is because of religious belief, right? Like they said, premarital sex is not allowed. But in today's society, people are evolving. People are more, ex, uh, more exploring about relationships, you know? So for me, it's fine. It's not that I'm not saying that I'm not encouraging people to have sex before marriage, you know? I'm just saying that there's nothing bad with it, you know? Cause yeah, like you feel it, maybe you love the person so much that you give it. So yeah, it's fine. And scientifically, sex is a basic need, so why not? <laughs> it's okay. As long as you're not 14 years old, oh my God. As long as you, as long as you think that you can, uh, you can provide for yourself, even if you have a partner, just your boyfriend, whatever, whatever he is, or whatsoever. I don't want to mention it. So that's it. it's okay as long as once you got pregnant, you know you're up, you know You'll that be you able can to take care of that child. Yeah. But think about it; it's very expensive to have a kid. Yeah, maintenance, yeah. <laughs> lifetime. She said religion. I would not say religion, though that is the the majority. Yeah, that's the majority. It's not sometimes it's not religion. It's just like okay. Let, let me use logic now. For example, when you when you a kid asks for a lollipop, mm -hmm. and then you tell him, "Okay, I will not give you until this certain age," he tends to behave in a certain way, knowing that he has a price, right? Mm -hmm. But when you have already given, he knows that anytime he misbehaves, throws a tantrum, he knows that you will give it to him. Same, you see that most most relationships, sex is like what we used to make peace. <laughs> Yeah. What they used to make peace, but okay, if I cannot get it from you, I can get it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But they should be, it, it, being in a relationship, a woman, man, it should be more, more than the sex. For me, sex for marriage, I do not condone it. Why? Statistics show that those uh, couples that had waited, you can go and read it, like um, celebrities that had waited to do the deeds after marriage tend to stay longer in the marriage than those who had enjoyed it themselves before the marriage. So, in a sense, according to psychologists, the emotions are more because because after marriage, that's when both of you get to discover yourself. Yeah. Your likes, like your marriage every day, your sexual whatever is, it's more like um, it's like an excursion, a daily um, uncovering. Mm -hmm. But when everything has been done, the relationship, relationship, there's nothing more. But that's because why, that's why when you get married, the woman focuses all her love to her children. She has children. Husband left the room and then you want to go outside to get what he used to get from his wife. So I think for me personally, but most people not agree. Premarital sex or whatever, nah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work for me and it doesn't even show because in this generation it has become a, a social problem. Mm -hmm. Most children, kids, teenagers, boys, girls are forced to have just because oh my friends are dying. My friends are doing it, so what is there? So like if someone says, okay, oh, let's do it. Like, what is what is the benefit you say? Like so, human needs, whatever. But what is the benefit for two of you, like personal? Aside from oh, my friends did it. Why? I should continue. <laughs> so premarital sex for me is no, 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 no. Because I also believe that if if that's the first thing the guys ask for. The guy asks for me in the relationship. That's one of the first things he wants from you. Mm -hmm. When he gets that from you, his value for you reduces. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Because boys, that is what they want. That's the first thing they want. 
no matter if, 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 if let him be a pastor or a bishop, that's the first thing he wants. Actually, when some, he gets to the value some guys used to say, um, if they love, if if they really, if if they love you, even after the sex, the love is still there. But to me, I yeah, feel, not to me, I feel I it's feel, not true. Oh, it's, it's not, not true. true. Yeah. Number I one, true. I would say that having uh, people saying that sex, I mean, you should, you shouldn't have sex before marriage. First of all, uh, use your respect, your dignity, everything. Like your your mom will just love you, like you not having it. I would say, yeah, it's a personal decision, like you having sex before marriage or having it after, uh, after marriage, it's a personal decision. But I would still say that uh, what she was saying that, you know, when you, when you uh, a child asks for a candy. Mm. But I would still say that, yeah, it's for your own good. When they tell you as a lady that I don't have sex before marriage, it's for your own good. The, your man will respect you, it will tell you that, oh, so like, you've not been going around, yeah. sleeping around or something. But at the same time, I would say that um, these days, all these boys, like you were saying, all these boys, that they don't really respect, that put you, give you that regard and deserve. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it has both the same as both as So like, some, uh, you might meet, you might marry tomorrow, and then your man will be like, ah, some, some men will actually tell like, you, like, uh, getting married to a baby. So it's at most disadvantage. Uh, so I believe it's a personal yes. So I won't go for both sides, but I believe it's a personal issue. You know the funny thing about premarital sex is that it's the women that are always the ones that are shamed. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. That's true. Why? The men are the ones that sleep with anything in skirts. Yeah. yeah because and it's normal. But the woman is the one that is shamed for it. When you even for example now boys will sit down together and be discussing I have slept yeah, with exactly. yeah. okay let me pass it to you yeah. but you won't see girls say okay I have said like, why is it that when the women the women are always on the back side that question why like that's when, when you see uh, the, the women are outside, outside that will encourage you see the the sex, yeah. outside you see the way they will encourage the guy like oh yes you know I like your position I like this one sex actually sex wrong too. and sex is about it so yeah. better just Keep your legs close because they will still find someone else to only drink right. Um, so do you think marriage can distract you from your goals, like Hell from no. achieving your goals? Hell no. Hell no. So Just you like, like some women. You yeah. find yeah. yeah. like you finally make a decision that yes, I am I am right, I am uh, right. I'm ready to be in yeah. to be in this forever. Yeah. I don't think you should be distracted. But you know some ladies they will yes. say that I want but to be this. once they enter they that marriage, everything is like no focus, no ambition, no goal, true. no ambition, no that nothing. And that's why I'm always like, they become full time how to, how I have like to be like, like, be able to take care of myself. Yes. Yes. Not any man taking care of me. Like, yeah. I'm not saying my man shouldn't take care of me. Of course, I, I love you to take care of me, but I want to be able to, so that when you're broke, Situations happen when yeah. you I can also take care of family, like help and do something. But not that I would just be housewife or just sit down there like a useless some somebody. Because one day you will insult me. Yeah. Telling me that I am. I paid your right price. Yeah. I did this. I did that. Bro, so I'm, I'm gonna give you back your right price. Marriage is distracting you. Achieving your goal, then you. I think You're that's a fail. Wrong. That's a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Marriage. Yeah. Marriage. Marriage is like going marriage they always say, say marriage an institution, right? Yeah, you go in to learn something. Yeah. And go. Yeah. yeah. So when you just go in and then one person is on one person growing, then it, that's not marriage. So exactly. It has to be and also good thing, whatever your goals, your husband should understand that before you get into marriage. Mm -hmm. So that's why after the relationship part, the courtship part is very important. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Husband, wife, okay, I know you want me to be a housewife, whatever, but I cannot do it. I, I went to school, I, this is what I want to achieve. Even while under your house, I still need to achieve this for myself. And then when you have a man that understands that, then yes. And then probably if during marriage, he kind of has a change of mind. You guys go back to your to your skateboard or like the boy you guys work like this is the plan we want to do together and this is what we want to do personally. Because even in a marriage, there's a personal goal. Your husband has his personal goal, your wife has his personal goal, and then the And I think you shouldn't be mad that your wife is substituting. Because some people yeah, actually, that, oh, some men are yeah, very angry, very mad. Yeah, 
don't be jealous. Yeah. Like because but let your let your, your wife be like an investment. So that tomorrow you can feel in future you won't just grow old and be tired. Like you can enjoy each other. You understand? Yeah. It's, it's I think it's more of a guy's people. Yeah. Because they're a guy, you know, like yeah, I they feel there. like yeah, they I feel like I'm the one who mm -hmm. needs to provide. But it's you not can't the provide case. for everything. It's not. Yeah, it's not the it's case, and it's no, fine. It's, it's fine. Things. It's not the case for every time, you know. And it's fine if a girl supports you. That's why you're in a marriage, right? Yeah. It's partnership mostly. So yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> First thing we have to do. Describe your biggest regret in a previous or in a current relationship. I'll talk about my previous one because it's done, you know, I, I move on. So maybe my biggest regret was letting my guard down. I was, when I entered my first relationship, I was 21, I think. So I was younger back then and all you just see is love. You know, you do everything for the person. Like, mm -hmm. you do everything what makes him happy. So, my biggest regret was letting him get inside my head. That's why maybe part part of the emotional abuse was me letting it happen. You know, so, regret was I had the chance to go out early, but I didn't. I stayed it knowing, you know, that's all. I think it's all immense. Oh, yeah, he will change. <laughs> you know, he will change. Yeah, he will, he will change. change. He will change. So, yeah, there's one regret. I didn't go out in that relationship early that I supposed to. You were you abused know? and you were supposed to leave, but leave, you just but feel like he will change. He yeah, will let's change. take notes though. Emotional abuse, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's the one. <laughs> yes. So I think um, you saying that you did not leave early. I think that's always the mistake that people always. I yes. make. So I think my previous relationship, of course, that's what I want to talk about. So I, um, I feel like I was not loved enough. I'm always like I will. I always say this. I was the boyfriend, and he was the girlfriend. <laughs> so you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm always yeah. more like checking on him. Like maybe I'm more like giving him money, but I. It's not even about giving money. It's like giving my time. You know when you call someone, and you will like leave them a lot of mystery. And throughout the day, they will not get all So it's like I was the boyfriend, and you were like he was the girlfriend. So I, I keep on saying that okay, I keep on pushing, we can change. And distance was also another like problem. Like it was like um, maybe let me say for example, it was a fantasy man, and I am in bag you. So uh, and you know, sorry, I'll say that ninja like relationship like you cannot just travel anywhere you go like anywhere you want to so it was like drink spirit yeah it was like relationship was a barrier and since the relationship was like was not known to my parents so I, I cannot just tell them that I want to you travel, to travel yeah. so this thing was like a barrier we, we might not see in a year mm -hmm. yeah so we might not see in a year so the relationship was was like I broke up so many times that like, I'm, I'm done I'm done. I'm done. So so you give back. Back. I, I go back. I go back. Yeah, on and off. So it was so sad. And at the same time, when I when, when I said my mind that I am done, I am done. You won't believe that up till now the guy, if I message him like, oh maybe something I brought us together, would be like I still want you back. After like years, because he knows that when you lost something. I never have it back. That's true. Yes, that's so true. it was so hard. You won't know like, until you yeah, lose it. Yeah, until you lose it. So I'm always one checking up on you. I don't want to like this one. But you would tell, he would always offer different girls, like saying happy birthday to them. But all my birthdays, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would forget. <laughs> That's that's a, even even you never celebrate yeah, that's true. Oh you you, you didn't celebrate your girlfriend, but you are celebrating all that. Happy happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. You know the serious excuse you used. You said, oh, uh, it, uh, it's like no, no, it's, 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 no, not even personal. It's in church, like um, it's in church member. It's church member. Like there's a way that they do tell them not to have relationship. Like, but you do upload these girls. To the an extent that there was a day he introduced me to someone that telling them that I am his cousin. Oh my goodness. I told them I'm not. one stupid excuse I am not. The family and friends know. So who am I flexing to? What? You know, well, like the reason why yeah. he's not posting it because they know. They know, like, they know you're my girl. That's, so. that's 
It's not making sense. Especially and if, if, like, if you guys did not agree that okay, don't post me. Yeah. Yeah. But there has not like if one of his friends like asked me that red like red why light. is it that he's posting other guys like it's not Yeah, but it's not posting. We just had like uh it's not like we're super close, but yeah, we just had like a business to do together and he was like, Can I ask you something personal? Or, like why is it that your boyfriend posts other guys and he doesn't post you? I felt so embarrassed because right? this yeah, is not even my stupid. friend. I can't yes. even like open yeah. up to you. Yes. So I felt so ashamed that oh god. Me, yes. I just That's feel true. I just feel probably the guy don't love that person. exactly oh, it's not, like, probably he's just playing around because they do you know what is love love is a big something like it's a very strong if, if, if you are really in love you don't even yeah, mind who is who is seeing you what you be yeah. and i think that you, you, that that you show up there is no that's what that's I mean. true. There is any no guy that will say no, let's keep this this relationship private. Let's do it private. What are you? Pri okay, fine. If, if, if my both of you are real, yeah, yeah, if you are, let's not close each other. Let's not do it. But if one side, especially coming from the guy, yeah, red light. Yeah. Uh 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 uh. Run red light. I have no, uh, one example is, uh, well, I think the father of my daughter, mm -hmm. I did not give him another chance. Mm -hmm. Because for me, yeah, it's a red flag for me. You didn't even care about how it was the time she was sick. And then you expect me to be okay to talk to you. That's, that's it. That's mm -hmm. the very... The biggest, the biggest regret that I had. I didn't let him explain. I didn't talk to him. I let him. Because what my priority that time was my daughter. Daughter, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, in a relationship, communication is very important. It's very, 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 very important. Very, 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 uh, there are many, you, the way you see, I, I, I always give this example, sorry. Like, if I write six right now, mm -hmm. you are seeing it as nine. Yeah, I am not seeing it as nine. I'm seeing it as six. 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 Yeah. So the way we see things are different. So I feel like communication is very important. I'm not judging you. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm just saying, like generally, in a relationship, communication is very, very like it's like a key in a relationship. That is why the thing is, you can even explain that time. Or even or make effort to explain. Even if like she's angry, let me allow her to cool off. Let her. But it took how many years now? Four years and you're coming back now. No, it didn't even oh, okay. after that, after four years, it didn't even want to visit my daughter. Wow. It didn't even care to talk to her. So, yes. what? I mean, it's very bad that you have a seat. Because uh -huh. he's still blaming me. That time, the last time I talked to him was in January. Oh, okay. And then I tried to call the number because I was wondering who is this number. Mm -hmm. So, I tried to call him that the father's number. So, he was still blaming me that he's not yet moved on. That's what. That's the reason why he cannot visit my daughter. What? <laughs> what? Why? It's not because of me. It's her. Yeah, yeah. You set aside your personal emotions. You have a kid right. in between, and you know, your daughter needs you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Because one day that child will grow up and so yes. like. He, she needs a father figure. That's true. Princess. Princess, uh, me, I, I told you before, I don't wait for for my ego and my pride to be trampled upon. I need the relationship with my head high up. So I want to be, because like English says, it's only you that will give someone permission to mess with you. Yeah. So in any relation, I do not give you that permission to mess with me. Merely I begin to see it raise an ugly head. Bro, I am confidently walking out. So, I think if regret is working out early, then that's me because I do not. So we're opposite. I do not wait. <laughs> yeah. I do not wait. I'm done. If if you, the father of my daughter, are watching, I know what I'm saying is. But we make it win. If you try to comment anything, <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to be biased, but I feel like the 
mistake we always make is you know when you feel like you're being abused whether I'm you emotionally don't physically you or anyhow know. like any physically <laughs> So it's like problem. when you know when you notice that you're being abused, just look it out, like look out on time because That's me. It's, take my cue. You know Don't when wait. you keep on saying that oh today it will change, tomorrow it will change, like yeah. uh, something is wrong with him today. You now the, the thing is I listened to uh, a broadcast. The person was like, when you're saying that it's really will change, do you know that he's getting used to you been having patience, tolerating yeah. it. You tolerating it like yes. I am okay with it. So it's not going to change. You should really want to change. And that's why sometimes that some some women wake up and then they just give their husband something. Yeah. Or the husband wake up. Because there are bad women too. Yeah. They wake up and then they just attack the, uh, the, uh, or the wife or the husband, vice versa. So no, walk up and walk out on time. Like yeah. don't wait for it to cry. It's a, like, oh, I'm going to or do you die. Don't wait for until you die. Because when you wait to that to that point, my dear, you'll be in hell looking at the guy. Hell, hell. Oh, hell. No, it's yeah. it's actually a syndrome. Yeah. You know, there's a syndrome of that we learned in law school. Mm -hmm. That's why when a woman, a battered woman, there's a battered woman syndrome yeah. in law school. Exactly. That when you when you kill your husband, you're exempted from the law. Yeah. Because there's actually a syndrome that. That's why I'm uh, I'm talking about cycle a while back. It's uh, it's actually a cycle. Mm -hmm. First you. You get hit and right? You, you, you fight. Yeah, just the first thing. Yeah, you fight. Grief. Yeah, yeah. You, so you, you just fight. You accept. Okay. And, and then, then you know, yeah. physical, mm -hmm. emotional, you fight. And then there's this whole like um, honeymoon stage where in you know the guy oh, with the wind, yeah the guy yeah, was trying to bring you back right. again. So right. it's actually your mental sanity yeah. that is on the line because you feel like yes, you know, we're okay. And, and then the next time again, it doesn't you, happen yeah, again. Yeah, and do the same thing, so it's actually a cycle. Yeah, and that's you why know? it is used to. Okay, if I just get her in yeah. flower, the new flower, the new flower, like she will be enticed, like she will be okay. To you, have to, you don't have to accept that bullshit. Sorry, yeah. but like yeah, you don't have to accept it. You cannot accept what, like yeah. when you're being treated badly. So it's, it's not a good thing. It's not. It's not even good for your mental health. We've come to the end, or to the end of this episode about relationship and marriage so thank you to all my guests for your opinion to my viewers thank you for staying with me thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget another episode is coming up very soon so try to click on the notification button so you could be notified for the next episode.